Hello, I'm Vincent McCurry. And I'm Dimyake Mokalielia. This is In Focus. Well, we begin in West Africa. Nigeria's acting president has sent uh, the first group of nominees for a new cabinet to the Senate. Viewer West African correspondent uh, Scott Stearns has our story today. Dimyaki and Vincent, acting president Goodluck Jonathan, has renominated nine members of the 42 member cabinet he dismissed last week. Among those renominated are the former information minister and the former planning minister, as well as a junior official in the oil ministry who's expected to be the new oil minister. New names include a prominent banker from Goldman Sachs and a nephew of President Umaro Yoradua, who Mr. Jonathan replaced last month. President Yoradua has not been seen in public since late November when he left for medical treatment in Saudi Arabia. While he has since returned to Nigeria, his aides say he is not yet fit to resume the powers of the presidency. So Mr. Jonathan is moving to show that while he's only an acting president, this will be his government until President Iradua resumes power or elections scheduled for next year choose a new leader. All of the 33 people nominated so far have passed security checks. There will be other nominees, as Nigeria's constitution says all of Nigeria's 36 states must be represented in the cabinet. Nigeria's Senate says it will begin screening these new nominees in a special session Monday. Back to you in Washington.